Welcome back to Unlock the Inbox video tutorials. We're going to pick up where we left off previously. We're covering DNS lookups and the different types of records that you're going to find in a DNS query. Um, I'm going to go ahead and initiate the search for Unlock the Inbox. Now we've already covered MX records, A records, C name records, and the PTR records. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and dig into SPF slash text records. And this is a pretty robust set of records inside of DNS. And basically, just to give you the top level information here, Cinder Policy Framework, that's SPF, it's a defined in RFC 4408. So this is a standard. Um, it's an email validation system de designed to prevent email spam by tackling source address spoofing, uh, which is a common vulnerability. Essentially, what you're trying to do with SPF is to to basically say that I'm sending an email from this domain and here's my ways of validating that this is actually real and has not been spoofed and what will happen is if you own the domain like if you own unlocktheinbox.com for example you're going to have text records that are set up in order to make it easy for the the receiving mail server to validate that this actually did come from you and ways that that's done, and if, if you look over here on the how to set up um, resources, there, there's some things over here that we're going to go ahead and just take a quick peek at. We're going to look at SPF records. We're going to look at domain keys and DKIM signatures. Um, I've got these tabs already opened up. SPF, this is our resource page on SPF. It's got a lot of cool information on here that's going to really kind of explain this for you. It's going to link you back to the queries for SPF. And on top of that, we've got down here, if you look under Generate Your SPF Record, we've actually already went ahead and built a, a wizard for you to walk you through the process of setting up your SPF records. And one thing to note, which is very important, is that we are the first website to provide an SPF wizard that is 100% IPv6 enabled. You're not going to find that anywhere else. And while we're talking about these text records, there's going to be a few other things that you're going to find that we offer that other places just do not have right now. And that's one of the things that really sets us apart. Again, come back over here and just read through the SPF records. It's going to really walk you through the basics here. Again, it's an open standard designed to prevent the forgery of the sender address. You know, it's really easy for somebody to send an email and just to claim that it came from a certain location, that it came from a certain address. But when you've configured your DNS records with all of the appropriate setups, people aren't going to be able to imitate your domain because whenever the receiving mail server gets that email, it's going to have header information in there. It's going to basically say, hey, look, here's where I'm coming from. I've got DNS records to prove this is where I'm coming from. Please go ahead and do a quick query and find that this is 100% legit. <clears throat> One of the things that helps that process is domain keys. And this is an email authentication protocol developed by Yahoo and attempts to stop the abuse of identity by spammers and fishers. Again, this, and this one here is covered by RFC 4870. If you want to read through this resource, and again, domain, uh, domain keys right over here. Here's a link, a nice little key over here. Uh, it's basically going to walk you through it. Domain owners generate a public and private key for signing all outgoing emails. The public key is published in a DNS text record. And in your headers, it's going to have this information right here. It's called a selector. It's going to be something dot domain keys dot whatever your domain name is dot com. For ours, it's secure dot underscore domain key dot unlock the inbox dot com so whenever the mail server gets some email from us it's going to see that this is in the header and it's going to go over here and do a quick lookup and it's going to find this key and when it looks and finds this key it's going to be able to validate that this is actually coming from our domain as opposed to being a forged request from some spam location um, another thing here is uh, DKIM these signatures, again, this is all based in the headers of the outgoing email. It's a tool to provide the, the receiving mail server, give them ways to validate that this is a legitimate email. This particular standard is published in RFC 4871. And again, 
right over here, DKIM Signatures, we've got this particular page that walks you through and gives you some basic info here. It's definitely a very useful page, just like any of the others that you're going to find over here. All of these resource pages are really trying to, to gear you up on how to understand the whole process because you're going to run into problems, basically, if you don't set up your mail servers in a, in a proper way because you have to admit the fact that spam is rampant these days. And all of these different standards have been set up as a way to try and thwart those those spammers that are out there. And if you don't set these up for yourself, then you will find all of your outgoing email to all of your customers have a very high potential of landing in the spam folder and nobody that's running a legitimate business wants that to happen. So again, read up on these. It's all going to come into play and, and we'll go back and touch on this in just a sec. And one more thing that I want to uh, to cover over here is um, the DMARC lookups. This is something that's relatively new. I would encourage you to do a Google search for DMARC. That's how you spell it right there. Underscore DMARC. Dot unlock the inbox dot com. A lot of tools out there that provide the kind of services that we do do not actually support the lookup for DMARC. And it kind of surprises me because this is something that's really big. This is something that's going to make a big difference in your business if you're very serious about sending out emails to your customers and clients. And the more people start to adopt DMARC, the more that's going to really come into play as far as like if you don't have this set up properly, you're going to run into problems sending out your email. So go ahead and look a little bit further into DMARC. We have the tools right here. We've got a page right here as well. Again, over in how to set up DMARC records. You hit this link, and it's going to walk you through what exactly is DMARC and how is it going to protect you. It's going to walk through. It's going to tell you that it's backed by some of the large corporations, including Google, American Greetings, PayPal, Microsoft, Facebook. I mean, these are the tools that are going to make sure that you've legitimately set up your email, uh, your email server and that it's all going to get to your customers because you've done the legwork to make sure that all of the receiving servers can validate that this is not just some spam coming from some random person. And whether you like it or not, that happens on a regular basis. So you really got to set yourself up to be prepared for that. So coming back over here to the DNS lookups tool, the SPF text records page, this is it right here. You do your lookups, whether you have the DMARC included in there or not, you, you've got access to the different types of text records, and we support the use of selectors. Again, a selector is something like this, DMARC. You, know, you, you use the selector in front of the domain name and bam, we're going to bring you back the records that are specific to that particular selector on this domain. This right here is the breakdown for the SPF text records. We encourage you to use this tool and follow these links over here to get geared up on what these mean. And as always, you're more than welcome to contact us if you have any questions about how this may impact your particular business. We definitely want to be there for you to help you get through any kind of issues that you run into. So please contact us. And the easiest way to do so is scroll to the bottom of our page and click on the Contact Us link. You just fill out a simple form, send it off to us, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you again for watching our videos, and we hope to hear from you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.